Lock? Lock, wait. Hmm. What is this? What is this place? I feel like I've been here before. Huh. So a door on the left, huh? Oh. What in the Lord's name? What in the Lord's name? I can't stay here, I have to find a way out. Oh. Yike. Yike. Run left. Run the right. Again, ow. Oh, it's worse. Oh, dang it. One left. Left. Another one. Now. Right. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Now. First. On left. Uh, middle. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Wait. Wait. What in the Lord's name is going on here? Uh, the crow, Walpurga, and snake. What is this place? Lush visions of desolate lands extended to the horizon. Lock? Wait! Lock! What are you doing here? Okay then. <laughs> we meet again, Elise. Ooh, what are you? Here, I thought you'd be happy to see me. I, I don't. <laughs> Let's have a word, Elise. You've come here for a reason, haven't you? For my wish. <laughs> Why don't we discuss this over the feast you've brought me?
Much better, isn't it? You're him, aren't you? Ozzy, Elise. Ozzy. At your service. This wish of mine, can you truly... For a price, yes. I've already brought you your gifts, what else could you... Speaking of which... Wait, I've brought you what you asked of me. You see the girls keep misunderstanding. These are mere gifts, Elise, a little courtesy. You're yet to pay for what you truly desire. What? Mm. That witch made you think otherwise, did she? You know, I... How did you know that? <laughs> I know everything about you, Elise. I know you'd like the shoes, too. <laughs> so you were the one who... Huh. Rather tasteless, isn't she? Trying to use me to lure you into her belly? <laughs> what, the witch? <laughs> You're well aware of who I'm talking about, aren't you? That old hag? She was speaking the truth, Elise. These gifts brought you to me. Although you didn't quite need them, did you? What do you mean? <laughs> we have a unique bond, Elise. Me, you, the witch, and your grandmother. Oh, was it? What, what are you... Uh. Calm down, won't you? <laughs> your grandmother is no stranger to me, lassie. Begged me for a child, and here you are, back to your roots. I mean, Granny Hull also... Conceiving you in that witch's woodland was a mistake, that's what. Made her believe she had a part in it that you're her kin, even. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why, about your dear mother, Elise. My mother, the only mother I've ever had, was Granny. <laughs> Let's put that past us. You're here for a reason. You did good in bringing me your tender flesh and sweetest nectar. <laughs> even brought me some good company for supper. For supper? Hmm. So let us dine, Elise. Tell me more about what it is you desire, why don't you? Now that you mention it. That's what I want is... <laughs> I can't hear you, lassie. Speak up. I want to be rich. <laughs> That's all I ever wanted. <laughs> Silence! My apologies, Elise. They're not so easy to tame, you see. You know, I... What are they, anyhow? Aww. My golden maidens, you ask? Nothing but mere servants, Elise. But let us focus now. You want to be rich, you say. That's what your heart most desires, is it? I want an easy, luxurious life. No more of this made-of-all-work nonsense. I want to live in a castle to live comfortably forever. To live out my dream together with... What are you all laughing at? I have a price, Elise. Whatever you'd like. A first-born child. A second-born child. Oh, how am I to know you'll have two children, Elise? Is that so? How are you to know I'll have any at all? Hmm. Why, don't you trust me? <laughs> I've shown you my loyalty, haven't I? I brought you your gifts, every last one. It's the least you could do. <laughs> We're certain this is what you want, Elise? All right. Luxurious life, starting right this instant. Well then, let us indulge in the first course now, why don't we? <laughs> oh. Elise! Elise! Rosemarine! Rosemarine. <laughs> Let's make a toast, Elise. <laughs> this is ridiculous! What did you do to her? Yeah. Me? Let her go. My, I don't think you'd want that, Lassie. Our contract is sealed, after all. Huh? Come now, you know what we're doing here, Elise. Hurry it up. I told you to let her go, you. <laughs> Let's get this out of the way, why don't we? Elise! Elise! <laughs> These gifts, Elise, the testaments to your loyalty. The tender flesh, your own mortal body. The sweetest nectar, your very own blood. The good company, now that's... The one you hold dearest to your heart, Elise. In the Lord's name? No, that can't be. Sweet, Elise. Elise, you've done it. This is no, no, you can't do this. Elise. Uh, Elise. Sweet. Stop, this isn't what I meant to do. Nobody told me about this. 
You're so noisy. Can't we get this over with? So noisy, so noisy. That's what I said to you, lousy crow. That was feast, Vrim, Ezeal. Elise. This is our fate, Elise. Rosemarine. Hey. No, this isn't what I... This is... This is what I was born to endure. Oh, Rosemarine. This isn't what I meant to do. Not at all. It's alright, uh, Elise. This is my fate, after all. I have to do something. I can still stop this. I can still... Elise! Rosemarine, she's... There's so much blood. If I don't stop this, Rosemarine is... Granny! I'm meeting you... soon. She's... she's dying. Oh, I'm full. I must thank you, Elise. Not only for the feast, but for this beautiful new addition to my entourage. Rosemarine. Rosemarine. <laughs> we'll meet again, Elise. I will be there on the day your second child is born. Until we meet again, Elise. New tag, new day. Miss Lee's Lytle, I reckon? Eh? Yeah? I'm here on behalf of Count Roman Die Heritage. The Count would very much like to see you, Miss Lee's. Would you please allow me to escort you to the castle? Hmm. Ah, the Red Moon. This is the manifestation of one's innermost desire. Oftentimes leading to glorious glee, others to gruinous grief. Bearers of strong emotions and hopeful hearts. Youthful girls risk their very soul to reach my realm, carrying their lanterns deep into the woods, lighting their paths like fireflies, one after the other. Whether they're granted their wishes or they're offered a sacrifice, All their dreams, all their souls, all of their regret. They all fall into the palm of my hand, one way or another. My beloved golden maidens, how much I cherish them. Out of all the souls I've consumed, Lisa's is the most promising, the most fragrant. Will she thrive, or will she sink into the depths of despair? Ah, more. I got precisely what he promised me. 
Nothing more, nothing less. Fortune, wealth, a second chance at happiness. Yet... No matter how big the ballroom, how glorious the dresses, I found myself feeling out of place. None of it came close to what I sacrificed, it all felt... vapid, worthless, far from what I truly wanted. <laughs> Harrowing regret hunted me day and night. And earthly visions of her and the look on her face the night I lost her forever. He too visited me in the dead of night, reminding me of my own foolishness, my futility. All I had left was my progeny, my beloved son, Henry. My one and only child, I will never put you in harm's way. Never will that demon get my second-born child. There is only you, Henry. You're my only hope, my only chance at happiness. Yet fate wouldn't have it that way. I had twins, a boy, Henry, and a daughter. My beloved daughter is going to take her from me. I never thought I'd go back to Kieferberg Village again. Not after what I had done years before. I could only think of one person who could still help me. Someone who could keep him away from Goldia. I know why you've come to me, Elise. Lepkuhin. I've never said anything about... I don't need you to tell me, Elise. Here you go. Take it. Keep it close to you, it will keep you from harm. Or whomever carries it. Lepkuhin, I... I'll never come back here, Elise. You've chosen your own path, but tell me. Did you get what you wished for? I did. I got exactly what he promised me. Nothing more, nothing less. I paid the heaviest price imaginable, lost what I cherished most. My dearest friend Rosamarine. I see. I see. Do not ever let that mirror go, do you understand? I see. Yes. Ooh. Moira, ending number one. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's the... That's the ending... If I go into the tree... What is the ending... See where this uh no. I want to load this one. What is the ending if I don't go into the tree, but put everything correctly? I haven't done that one yet. And if that one's different, I think we just have the interruption and the other two girls. In order to get the other two girls, I have to go all the way back and go on the dates with them instead.
Okay, just in case, pick these up again. Uh, nope, did it right. Just to see what happens with the doors, I'll pick the wrong one. Okay, now we just don't go in the tree. This is it. I might lose her. If what's on the other side of these gates is anything like the woods, I... I can't go through with this. Rosemarine. Hmm? I'm sorry, I... Aren't you going any, Lise? You know, I... No, Rosemarine, I'm not. Elise. Lise. I don't think I want to do this anymore. Oh, that's... What about your wish? Now that you mention I suppose you could say it's changed. Uh... But you said earlier it hadn't, that you wanted to... Rosemarine. I love you, Rosemarine. Oh. Well, that changed. Oh, Elise. I don't need this silly wish of mine anymore. Not if I can start afresh with you by my side. Are you sure, Elise? Come now, let's leave this place. But I don't have anything ready for supper. Well, figure it out, Rosamarine. Hurry now. Yes, Elise. Book, huh? I saw no purpose in staying in Kieferberg without her. Now that I was freed from my longing, I could follow my own path. I traveled far to Primaldorf, to the mountains and beyond. Really, Kieferberg couldn't compare to how full of life the world was. Had it not been for Rosemarine, the time we spent together, all things she taught me. I would have never broken free of the person I was back in Kieferberg. And nor would Rosemarine have broken free from her fate. In the morning she left, she came into my room. She whispered in my ear, You will meet again, Elise. On the seventh night of the seventh moon I will be there, waiting for you in the heart of the woods. I will come to you when I'm ready, Elise. 
For now, I'll be taking your apron. I hope you won't mind. Hmm. Year after year, I went back to the same clearing hoping to meet her. She didn't show up for the first year or the second. Was it the right place? Had I waited long enough? Where are you, Rosa Marine? I waited and I waited. Maybe she's forgotten me. But in the third year... Oh, who am I kidding? She's not coming this year either, is she? I could have dreamt it all, yet I keep coming here. Elise. Elise. Rosen Marine. <laughs> Waited for me, Elise. For I thought you'd never come, Rosen Marine. <laughs> Told you I'd be here, silly. Rosen Marine. <laughs> well, I have so much to tell you, Elise. Learned so many things you wouldn't believe. Such as? Yes. Well, I can do pottery now. I learned how to fish, and I made a rocking chair by myself, even. And I also brought you something. <laughs> Is it another pine cone or a bracelet? Oh, oh. Elise. Cut your hair, Rosemarine. Uh, yes. Well, I got in the way when I first started out doing odd jobs. Odd jobs? <laughs> yes, I was a chimney sweeper for a couple months. For You're truly... Sorry, I... I came here to tell you something, actually. You know, I... You're not leaving again, are you? <laughs> no, silly. I came here to tell you I'm ready to stay, Elise. Rosemarine. Rosemarine. You're ready to stay now, too, aren't you? You know I needed time to grow, huh? Oh, that's... You both did, wouldn't you say? Or truly... What was it you wanted to tell me, then? I love you, Why, that I love you, of course. You. Rosemarine. <laughs> Why, Elise, you're bright red. Star cross, meaning five. Ah. Okay then. Now for the... Now for the bad door. That is... Where? Eh, same thing. Skip, skip, skip. And run! Oop. Ah, the fog. Hey, left door. Unlocked again, but metal. Oh. Ah, oh, that's brutal. Ah, oh, so that's that game over. <laughs> 